celebrating a baptism here at Northern Lake Shins Church. You come on down and I'll just keep talking while you're doing that. It's hard to shut me up. Um, I'm, I'm Colin, by the way. I'm the pastor here. It's so great to see all your faces. Why don't you just join me right over here? And uh, baptism is this amazing sign. It's a gift that God gave to the church so that we can welcome people into the family. So here at Northern Light Church, we baptize infants and say, you're welcome into the family so that you can be brought up in an atmosphere of faith until one day you can claim the faith that we celebrate here as your own. We also do um, adults and believer baptisms too. So this past summer we went to the beach and I baptized like 18 of you and that was awesome. Um, so we, we, uh, we celebrate all forms of baptism here and celebrate that God is present in all of those different expressions as a way of including people into the kingdom of God that is open for everybody wherever they, they're coming from. So today we're going to be selling a baptism for Esme and... Uh, you can always tell where she is, because she's the one with the awesome ball on her head all the time. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm happy that she's here to celebrate with us today. So, um, but here's the thing. I think uh, some of the most important people to celebrate this baptism event are actually the kids that are here with us. So I'd like to invent, invite all the kids who are part of Northern Light Church that are here today to come and join us right down here on the floor. I know it's a risk, but I think you guys are going to want to get the best seats in the house for this one. Okay, so you can see what's going on. If you've been baptized, then this is the same thing that happened to you when you were a child. If you haven't been baptized, then this is an opportunity for you to have a conversation with your parents about what that might mean. So talk to mom or dad or grandma or whoever brought you and say, have I been baptized? And find out a little bit more about that story after you go home today, okay? But today, we're going to be celebrating Esme's baptism. So uh, we're going to be, um, uh, uh, we have some vows that we're going to say, a promise that uh, to raise her in a home of uh, Christ-like faith, uh, to teach her the ways of Christianity, and also uh, you have a job too, church, um, that you respond uh, at the close of this. There will be words printed on the screen for you also to take on some responsibility for Esme's growth uh, as she uh, grows into a child of God to take on those responsibilities for herself. So pay close attention because you have a part in this too, all right? So folks, you might want to get someplace where you can see a screen if you want to step forward a little bit and you can look over there because that's where we're reading from today, all right? Um, so uh, let's begin. Uh, I'll ask the questions and you say the we do's and make sure that you do. do. Um, <laughs> Do you believe that there's a problem, that there's evil in this world, that creation is broken and not quite how it should be? This is just for them. <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm glad to hear it, Jerry. <laughs> Will you turn from this evil in every area of life, turning toward Christ and this family of faith for instruction and strength? Do you believe that you've been part of the problem? Disobeying God, hurting others, and putting yourself first. Will you allow Christ and this family of faith to be the solution, helping to lead you into a life of goodness and faithfulness? Do you confess that only God has the power to save us from the darkness in this world, and that Jesus is the one through whom all the world can be restored? Will you commit to pursuing a life that reflects the light of Christ, to those around you? Do you confess that this task is too big to do alone? Do you commit to nurture this child's faith with your family and with the church so that we can encourage each other and work together to help this child claim the faith that we hope for today as her own? All right, this is all of us now, even Jerry. Do you, as the people of God, confirm your belief that there's darkness in the world and within each of us, and that God has given us the light that we need through Jesus Christ. We do. Will you continue to care for one another, strengthening each other in faith and in love, and will you include this child, as may in our family of faith and love, showing compassion, forgiveness, and offering your help whenever you are able? We are overjoyed to welcome you into our family of faith. We commit to do our best to nurture you like a mother 
to protect you like a father, to encourage you like a brother, and to comfort you like a sister with our prayers and friendship. We stand beside you and celebrate with you as you grow in faith and come to realize who God is creating you to be. All right, before I go any further, I want to just show you a couple things, a little parting gift that uh, we send with each of the uh, families that performs a baptism here at Northern Light Church. Uh, we have a, a certificate to commemorate the day, and this is also an original piece of artwork uh, that each family that has a baptism uh, will receive original artwork created by our art team here at Northern Light Church that you can hang on the wall to commemorate this day. So, now, these are the colors of baptism that invite us to be washed and cleansed by the love of God that releases us from old life into new life. And this is his name. you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit work within you to make you a new creation and welcome you into the family of faith. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. How about that? You can stop bugging mom about that now. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. And welcome, welcome.